which has been expanding according to science. There are now considered to be two trillion galaxies in the universe. The universe is considered to be 91 billion light years across. And that's changing because it's expanding all the time. To put it in some perspective, if you took the sun and reduced it to the size of a penny, the nearest star, Alpha Centauri, would be 370 miles away. And the Milky Way would be 7 million miles in diameter. These are fantastic figures. So fantastic that even people who don't believe in God now are willing to cons consider intelligent design, which is another way of saying God. Two thousand or more years before Christ was born, an unknown Hebrew shepherd or priest or poet wrote a line. He knew nothing about chemistry or physics or astrophysics, but yet what he wrote down has occupied the minds of most scientists for the last 300 years. He wrote it down in seven Hebrew words and encompassed in that word every element of space, time, matter, action, <coughs> and person. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Seven words. In the Bible, seven is considered to be the number of perfection or completion. <coughs> Those seven words are not only just seven in themselves, but the first three words contain two times seven letters. The last four words contain two times seven letters. The fourth and fifth words contain seven letters. The last seven words contain seven letters. There are seven remaining unit words. They contain 14 letters, two times seven. The shortest word is seven letters. And if you put down the numerical value of all these, because Hebrew letters have, num have numerical values, the last letters have 14 times 7, and the rest have, have a time multiplication of 7 as well. This was done by someone who, who knew nothing about chemistry, physics, mathematics. One of those seven words has never been translated into English because there's no equivalent for it. And it's made up of only two letters. It sits right next to the word Elam in the Bible or the word God in the Bible, in the Hebrew Bible. And it's made up of the Elf and the Tav, the first and last letters of the Hebrew alphabet. This was 2,000 more years before Christ was born. Christ, in the New Testament, in the Greek alphabet, said he was the Alpha and the Omega. Or in the Hebrew alphabet, the Elf and the Tad. In, first, in John, it says in the very first chapter, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, all things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that hath been made. And it says that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of mercy, full of grace and truth. In Philippians, it talks about Christ coming to birth as a man, putting aside all his divinity, all his holiness, everything to become a man, to die for mankind. 
if you can see this and picture this, this is the most powerful being in the universe who created everything, who came to earth as a human being to suffer and die for us. What a beautiful name that means. But also what a powerful name it is. Because there's no power greater. And the problem is that we ignore that power most of the time. You know, if you give something to someone, something that is valuable, something that means a lot to you, something for which you have sacrificed, if you give that to someone and they don't even repay with a thank you, you're usually hurt. And I can picture that God must be hurt when none of us, or few of us, really respond or respect Him the way we should. You wonder sometimes if some of the problems we have, some of the things we ask for aren't given because of the fact that we have disappointed God so much in the past. What a powerful a wonderful name Jesus really is. Hallelujah. And if we really respected him, we would put him first among everything. No sports games would come first. No vacations would come first. No other things would come first in our lives except him. Because he is not only wonderful and good to us, but he is also the most powerful name in the universe. Mm -hmm. Just think of that. That will give you something to think about when we do the next song. Mm -hmm.